The idea that's probably had the biggest influence on me is that you can make stuff up. I remember when I started um, compulsively lying when I was about five years old and originally my parents passed it off as, oh, she just has an overactive imagination, but quickly it got me into trouble when I said we were all moving to Australia and I got given uh, leaving gifts at the end of school um, and, and everything. Another time I said I could write in Sanskrit text um, and our teacher who could actually write in Sanskrit quickly confirmed that that was not true. So I quickly learned that there is a time and place to make stuff up and I'm in the perfect career now. Um, you, I lie professionally, that's essentially what being an author is. The idea that I'd like to see developed in the future, I've kind of got a dual answer to this. So obviously world peace is my sort of miscongeniality answer. Um, but really, I'd really like comfortable spanks to kind of, I'd like someone to really focus on this as an idea and actually bring it into fruition. I feel like if men had to wear Spanx, there would already be wearable, breathable, comfortable Spanx, but there just aren't. And maybe going a bit further, maybe the need for me not to feel like I need to wear Spanx would, would also be great. So, so maybe that women just start to can, can kind of be accepted for their bodies, whatever they look like, um, and feel comfortable in themselves. So yeah, a three-stage answer going from world peace, comfortable Spanx through to female emancipation.